Hello everyone, uh, today we will study the 1D heat equation. So, this is a equation given by u t equal to a square u x x again t is positive x is in real line and an initial value g of x. So, here a is positive a constant. So, physically this represents the evolution of temperature in an infinite rod. So, though uh, not physically meaningful, but we will see that just like uh, wave equation, uh, this also helps us in analyzing later uh, the temperature evolution in a finite rod. So, before we go further few historical remarks. So, this equation first appears in the work of Joseph Fourier a French scientist. So, somewhere in the beginning of 19th century. Okay, there he derives this equation using Newton's law of cooling. So, most of the uh, things we study now like Fourier series, Fourier transform, they all appear in this work and this is called it is in French. So, let me just write it theory analytic this is in French the law shall you So, simply translated this is analytic theory of heat. So, whatever he Fourier did in this work, it uh, influenced a a lot especially in the 19th century uh, mathematical physicists mathematicians so and in fact uh, now there is a separate branch called harmonic analysis which originated in this work of Fourier so, he was also successful uh, in deciding uh, to construct cellars to escape extreme weathers. So, in extreme cold conditions would like to remain warm and in extreme heat conditions would like to remain somewhat cool. So, 
he was successful in determining. So, remember this is in 19th century, okay. this is in 19th century. So, of course, now we have air conditioners, heaters and what not, but in those. So, this is uh, more than 200 years. So, he was successful in uh, determining the uh, depth at which cellars must be constructed in order to escape uh, extreme weathers. Okay. So, and there he exploited the linearity of this heat equation and this linear sup, uh, <coughs> superimposition that we are aware of now, but it in this work he so, there, there will be temperature variation, daily temperature variations and yearly temperature vari variations. So, he took all that into account and successfully arrived at the uh, depth at which a cellar must be constructed. So, a brief account of this uh, I will give you a reference. So, you can just there is a book by T W Corner title is Fourier Analysis. So, we will also find a good account of Fourier series, Fourier transform, okay, which we are not covering in this course. So, this is published by Cambridge University Press. Now, there are many books. Okay. So, I am just uh, mentioning one. So, today what we will do is this uh, try to find a formula for the solution uh, again in the Fourier spirit. Okay. So, before going further <coughs> let me mention one thing about this heat equation. So, it is a prototype of parabolic equation. So, it has only one real characteristic. Okay, has only one one family when I say one and you can easily see that these characteristics uh, characteristic the characteristic family are given by characteristic family t equal to cost And remember, we are giving prescribing initial condition at t equal to 0, though physically meaningful. So, at uh, some t equal to 0 initial time, you prescribe the temperature in a rod and then you see how it evolves, okay. though physically meaningful. But as far as mathematics is concerned, so, what we are dealing here is so characteristic initial value problem. So, I just stress this thing. Characteristic initial value problem. 
because we are prescribing the initial values on a characteristic t equal to 0 is also a characteristic. So, and mathematically such characteristic initial value problem uh, they may fail. So, there are three things we should be interested existence of a solution and then uniqueness this is again important as far as the physics is concerned uniqueness and then the continuous dependence. on the initial value. So, together they are known as Hadamard's well posed conditions initial data. So, when we are <coughs> dealing with characteristic initial value problem, there could be problem with any of these three things uh, one or two. Okay. So, that means, so even for existence or uniqueness some additional conditions may be prescribed. So, some additional hypothesis may be required. So, in fact, uh, <coughs> there is no uniqueness in general, okay. so, but if you restrict the initial value to certain class then there is uniqueness. As you see existence will be there again this continuous dependence on the initial data is there only if you restrict uh, the initial data to a certain class. So, it is uh, very difficult to do all these things uh, in this set of lectures. So, we will just concentrate on certain things, but this is an important equation which makes its appearance in several branches of mathematics. So, and it is also a typical parabolic equation and it has many properties interesting properties some of them will be discussing. Okay. So, first we will obtain some special solutions. Okay, again you just let me write it. So, we see first you observe that there is a scale invariance. What does this mean? Let me let me explain that. So, if u x t is a solution, then u of lambda x lambda square. 
square t is also a solution. This easily follows by direct differentiation. So, if we scale the variable x to lambda x, so lambda is a positive number, any positive number and t by lambda square t, you see that. So, what does this do? So, this x t is there and this lambda x lambda square t is there. So, what is common there? So, if you look at uh, x square by t here and again I take x square by t here. So, that means lambda x square by lambda square t and that just gives me. So, the scaling leaves this x square by t unchanged. Okay, this is unchanged. So, that is fixed. Okay, this suggests to look for a solution of the heat equation which is of the form a function of x square by t only because x we have seen that this uh, heat equation has this scale invariance and that suggests us to look for a solution that may not be there, but just we can certainly try that. Okay. So, look for solutions of the form u x t. So, we can even put additional thing here. So, just put a v t and w x square by t. Okay. You do some uh, uh, let I have used let me write w is a function of t only and v is a function of x square by t. Of course, this requires we have to only deal with uh, t positive because we are dividing by t. Now, you just make the necessary differentiations and plug in in the heat equation and so this w and v they satisfy. So, I am skipping few computations. So, I am just using prime since they are w and v are functions of only one variable I am just writing prime, prime means derivative De derivative with respect to the that variable. So, w t four a square v double prime x by t square x no sorry but x square by t. x square by t plus v prime x square by t bracket mod x square y 
mod mod is not required we are in the one variable so just x square by t x square plus b prime x square by t to a square by t so remember w and v are at our choice so we make first choice so choose v such that this term in the bracket is 0 and that immediately gives so one solution. So, that is a though it is a second order equation for V. Uh, it is a first order equation for V prime. So, you do two integrations and you get one particular solution we take. So, V z is equal to e to the minus z by 4 a square. Okay, that is one solution. And now you plug in this solution V in this thing and you obtain a equation for W prime. So, this is gone and now you differentiate this one and plug in here. So, what you get is so let me just then W satisfies. So, we have to work it out. Okay, I am just writing W prime plus 1 by 2 T W equal to 0 and again a particular solution of this first order equation, first order O D. Okay, remember this is O D. So, this is W T is T to the minus half. So, thus we have obtained a particular solution of the heat equation. So, thus a particular solution of the heat equation is given by u of x t is equal to w t v of x square by t and this one now you replace z by x square by t. So, let me write since expression in the exponential is big. So, let me write it as exponential. So, this is x square by 4 a square t. A constant multiple of this solution is going to play an important role. Uh, so, that is called so, let us put some name. Okay. So, the fundamental solution of the heat equation or heat operator. fundamental solution is 
is defined by R operator. Is defined by denoted by k x t so there is a constant multiple here so 4 pi a square t to the minus half exponential So, this is T positive x in R and 0 for a T less than 0. Okay. So, what we obtained here? So, I am just adding putting a constant term there. So, this 4 pi a square we will see the reason for putting that particular constant, how that uh, plays an important role. Okay. So, immediate observations about this k. So, for t positive exponential is infinitely differentiable also this t to the minus half. Okay. So, Im immediately just by looking at the expression k has a singularity at t equal to 0. For t positive k is an infinitely differentiable function for x in r and just now we have seen that okay so again for t positive k satisfies k t equal to a square k x x. So, k satisfies the heat equation in the region t positive and it is a very smooth function, very smooth function. It has only singularity at uh, t equal to 0. Uh, some of them, some profiles of k I can show you. So, this is also uh, since this is a Gaussian curve. So, it is also uh, referred to as uh, a Gaussian. Okay, so, it is so as t becomes smaller and smaller you will notice that the exponential term becomes closer to 1 because t is infinity. So, this will become uh, 0. So, exponential become uh, 1, but there is a t to the minus half factor. So, as t becomes larger and larger, so we will see that space is less here. So, this So, this say so t equal to t 4, t equal to t 3 sometimes. Okay. So, this is t equal to t 2 and t equal to t 1 and you drawing x and k. So, here 
T 4 is less than T 3 less than T ok. So, important thing we will notice that that we are going to use that the fundamental solution satisfy the heat equation in the region T positive that is important and we will also see that this k is a very smooth function. So, it is infinitely differentiable ok. So, these two things will help us in finding a formula for the initial value problem. So, this uh, occurs in the formula for the solution of the initial value problem ok. Uh, so, anything else ok. Yeah, with this uh, we close this lecture and in the le next lecture we will uh, obtain the solution of the initial value problem for the heat equation. And there again we see the role played by this fundamental solution. Thank you.